going on guys so I actually took this out I mean I had it installed all you got to do is remove like you know this two bolts that holds it and also the two bolts here and I just loosen up this area on the side so I could just swipe it right out <laughs> you know slide it out and remove this connector only reason why I did that is because um, uh, when I when you go on long drives, you want to be you know extra safe. So I got this uh, heat like heat shield type of tape on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. So I'm gonna wrap this around it so um, so less heat can go inside. Pretty much, it's gonna be like it's like a heat shield uh, wrap. And then um, this way, you're not mixing the hot air and cold air after like a long drive. So I'm gonna put this on because I'm about to go to car meet. So keep the performance up and I just gotta wrap this around and I'll put it back in that should do it um, yeah the description is below for this wrap so you definitely gonna need it all right guys so I finally wrapped it um, this was long enough where I was able to wrap it twice so I wrapped it up twice but this section sorry for the plain sound that's pretty loud but anyways um, yeah so um, I wrapped this section three times because uh, the downpipe is actually like right in this section so the heat comes a lot here so I wrapped this area uh, this area up to here three times at the last section whatever uh, wrap I had remaining but I wrapped this twice and pretty much whatever I was left with I wrapped it from here to here third time to give it more uh, more air uh, you know the heat uh, resistance and now I'm about to install it here so the stock one you know it has pretty much holes all that stuff but if we're gonna install it simply just slide that part in with of course the ring I'm gonna have over here to lock it in there and then the, the bolts are here two bolts are here right there to stabilize it with the stock area and then the two once you push this part in into here the circle then we're just gonna lock it up with the two bolts there and uh, reconnect the MAF sensor right here connections right there uh, MAF uh, sensor is right here just connect that and that's it we're done let's see how it looks overall all right so I got it done that's how it looks finally tighten up everything and <coughs> should looks a lot better and now uh, we just gonna avoid all that heat coming here so it's perfect